Hi there, this is Tony from Pianotone.ca. One of the most common questions that I get on my YouTube channel and on my website is how important is it to have fully weighted graded hammer action keys on a digital piano as opposed to fully weighted keys that, are, that aren't graded or even semi-weighted keys. Now there are a lot of piano purists uh, out there that are going to say that you absolutely have to have fully weighted graded hammer action keys. But there really is a lot more to it than that. Uh, it depends on you, your goals, your situation, and uh, also your budget. So I'm uh, going to talk about that in this, uh, in this video and also a little bit about touch sensitivity, uh, which I think is a really important kind of related topic. So let's check it out. So what are weighted keys? Uh, weighted keys are how digital piano manufacturers try to mimic the feel of playing an acoustic piano. A very simplified way of describing what happens on an acoustic piano when you press a key is when you uh, press the key down, which is actually kind of like a long seesaw, uh, you can only just see the front of it that's the actual key, uh, it's going to make a hammer swing that uh, then strikes a string that uh, vibrates and that's what makes the sound that you're hearing. So because there's a, this physical action going on of uh, pressing the key to make that hammer swing, it, there's some resistance to it. It takes a little bit of effort to press a key on an acoustic piano. And uh, if you think about the strings on the lower end, the left side of the uh, piano, as being bigger, thicker, heavier strings because they're playing the bassier notes, it's uh, going to be harder to, to press the key on that side of the piano than it is on the higher end, the right-hand side of the piano, where the strings are very, uh, quite a bit smaller and lighter. So uh, that's why it gets uh, easier to play a key as you go from the left to the right-hand side on an acoustic piano. So in digital pianos, uh, manufacturers will install counterweights uh, on the keys so that you have to lift that counterweight when you uh, press the key down. And that's what uh, mimics the feel of swinging that hammer on an acoustic piano. So types of weighted keys, uh, your high end is basically going to be your fully weighted graded hammer action. So that's going to be where uh, the, uh, each one of the keys has a counterweight installed on it that's going to be slightly uh, lighter as you work your way up the piano. So it, uh, like on an acoustic piano, it, each key is a little bit easier to play as you go from, uh, from left to right. As you would expect, this is also usually going to be the most expensive uh, type of weighted action. Now there are some variations to uh, graded hammer action. Uh, that one of the more common ones that's going to make it a little bit cheaper is when uh, the manufacturer has uh, basically groups or sections. So they'll have, let's say all of these keys are one weight and then the next section is a slightly lighter weight. So it's not quite as uh, detailed as it is when each key has its own weight, but it still does get uh, easier to play as you work your way up the piano just in groups instead of uh, with each individual key. Now the next level down from uh, fully weighted graded hammer action is fully weighted hammer action that's not graded. That's basically when every key on the piano is the same weight. Typically will be weighted with something more like an average, more like uh, what the weights uh, would be in the middle of an acoustic piano, uh, but it's going to be the same all the way across the board. So the lower end might be a tiny bit easier to play than it would be on an acoustic piano, and the higher end might be a tiny bit harder to play but it still does give you the feeling of playing an acoustic piano. Now the much bigger step down from that is going to be semi-weighted. Now while you might think when you hear semi-weighted that that means that there's just smaller weights on each one of the keys, typically what it actually uh, means is that there's some type of uh, spring mechanism that adds some resistance to the keys when you play them. There are some uh, digital pianos out there that I do believe use smaller counterweights in addition to the springs uh, that are installed, but for the most part, you're usually dealing with spring action when you're uh, hearing the term semi-weighted. So it's not gonna feel anything like playing an acoustic piano simply because it's a spring resistance. It's not a swinging or lifting kind of kind of action that you're getting with uh, an acoustic piano or the, uh, the counterweights that you have on the fully weighted pianos. You stu do still get some resistance when you're, uh, when you're playing, so your fingers do get used to having that resistance under them, but it really doesn't feel the same as, a, as an acoustic piano does. So to compare all of the above actions, uh, fully weighted greater hammer action keys with individual weights per key is definitely going to give you the closest uh, approximation to what an acoustic piano feels like. I'm sure a very experienced uh, pianist that's familiar with acoustic pianos is probably going to notice a difference between a uh, digital piano that has the individual weights on each individual key, like the Roland FP30, 
uh, and one that is weighted in groups, where I was saying how there's some uh, pianos that have uh, the same weight for different groups or sections. Uh, I've only, I'm just entering my second year of playing the piano. I'm probably not going to notice that difference, but I'm sure some, uh, some much better piano players are going to notice that. Now, as you go down to uh, a piano that is fully weighted but not graded, like uh, the Alesis Recital Pro, which was my first digital piano, or the Inovis I-88, uh, the difference is going to be a little bit more noticeable. Uh, once again, an experienced pianist is most surely going to notice that. Someone at my level, probably. Uh, but the fact that you are still getting hammer action and kind of an average resistance when you play means that you're still going to be reasonably uh, prepared to play an acoustic piano. Now, when you step down to semi-weighted, uh, which is, again, typically a spring action uh, digital piano, the difference between that and an uh, acoustic piano is pretty huge. You're still going to get some resistance when you play, so yes, it is better than no resistance, but the amount of resistance, and even more so how the resistance feels and reacts uh, to you, is going to be immediately noticeable. So the transition from a semi-weighted uh, digital piano to an acoustic piano is going to be pretty significant. So now before talking about uh, how important it is for you to worry about whether or not you need fully weighted graded hammer action or not, uh, I wanted to talk a little bit about touch sensitivity because I think it's kind of a related topic. When you go back to thinking about an acoustic piano, uh, if you hit the key really hard, and you're, as you might imagine, the hammer's going to swing hard, it's going to hit the strings harder, it's going to be louder, uh, as opposed to if you play the key very softly, it's just going to touch the strings and uh, it's going to be much quieter. When you play it hard, it also might even uh, make an additional sound in addition to the resonance of the strings vibrating after it's been hit. You might actually hear the uh, hammer striking the strings because it's hitting it so hard. Uh, that, the way that that is uh, mimicked in digital pianos is uh, what we call uh, touch sensitivity. That's basically where some type of uh, a velocity sensor is installed that senses how hard you're uh, uh, depressing the keys, how fast you're, you're hitting them down. And then it will adjust the volume accordingly. As you go up in quality in, uh, in your product, you may also get a slightly different sound based on how hard you hit the key. For example, the Roland FP30 that I have, if I hit a key really hard, you're actually going to hear the sound that's supposed to be the, uh, the sound of the hammer striking the strings, as well as the resonance that you hear afterwards. So now touch sensitivity allows you to play with some feeling and some expression, playing softly in some parts of a song or uh, not so softly in other parts of a song as you, as you like to. So uh, in my opinion, touch sensitivity is absolutely mandatory. If you want to play any piano pieces, whether it's uh, classical, rock, uh, anything, you really need to be able to have uh, the ability to play with some expression softer and harder uh, through different parts of the song. So if you're looking at a product that does not have touch sensitive keys, I would highly recommend uh, not considering that one, uh, especially if you're wanting to play you know, piano pieces. So the verdict, uh, how important is it for you to be uh, looking at a digital piano that has fully weighted graded hammer action keys? That really depends on you. Depends on your goals, your situation, and also on your budget. Some, some questions you might want to think about is, uh, do you own now or are you hoping to be able to buy an acoustic piano down the road? Are you taking formal piano lessons with an instructor that are taught on uh, an acoustic piano and you'll be taking formal grading tests, which will be on an acoustic piano? Are you hoping to be able to play your, uh, an acoustic piano at your church or uh, at your school or relative's house or something? So if it is important to you to make that transition as easy as possible, then you really should try to get the most realistic weighting you can. Top of the line being fully weighted, graded hammer action. And if you can't find a piano within your budget that has that, uh, you could either look for something in the used market or you could consider a cheaper option with fully weighted but not graded keys. As I mentioned before, it's not as realistic as the graded hammer action, but it is still reasonably close, and it's a much better approximation than semi-weighted is going to be. If it is not important to you to make that transition as easy as possible, then it really is up to you. But before making a decision, uh, I would highly recommend trying out as many different pianos in uh, stores as you possibly can, so you can kind of see what feels good and what doesn't. Make sure it has touch sensitivity, though. So I'd like to share how uh, my experience was uh, when I bought my first uh, couple of uh, keyboards. When I first started, I didn't really know much about uh, weighting of keys, weighted versus semi-weighted. 
And the first uh, keyboard that I bought was uh, kind of an entry-level Casio keyboard that uh, I bought because the uh, salesperson, emphasis on sales, uh, told me that this keyboard uh, was just like a piano because it had touch sensitivity, uh, even though it didn't have weighted keys at all, not even semi-weighted. So as I learned more and uh, started to, uh, to get into playing and taking lessons and things, I decided to upgrade to an Alesis Recital Pro, which has non-graded but fully weighted keys, and I absolutely loved how the keyboard felt. Uh, so for me, even though I have no acoustic pianos in my life, I would still like to have that transition be as easy as possible. And I also just happen to prefer the feeling of, uh, of a weighted keyboard. So uh, I'll always own something, uh, something that's weighted. Uh, I should also note that I know of multiple professional gigging musicians who prefer semi-weighted pianos, so really is to each his own. If you don't have that need to be able to transition to an acoustic, then it really is kind of up to you. There are also some advantages to semi-weighted uh, digital pianos and keyboards. Uh, first of all, they're way lighter because they don't have all those weights in them. My Roland FP30 weighs about 40 pounds. Uh, the Alesis Recital, not the Recital Pro, but the Recital, which is a semi-weighted version of the Alesis, uh, weighs 16 pounds. Uh, so if portability is important to you, this might be something to consider. They're also usually going to be quite a bit cheaper. And uh, also, if you hope to be playing some organ or synth uh, style music as well as piano pieces, you might prefer the lighter feel uh, of uh, a semi-weighted keyboard. So uh, I hope this helps, and uh, happy piano shopping. Have a great day.